Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dvir. I'm the CEO of Spike. In the next 10 minutes, I will try to show you why Spike has managed to do what Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, trying to do for years without a big success. Yet it sounds bombastic, but wait till you see what we've got. Let's start with a bit of joke of Louis C.K. Yes. Do you feel that we now, in the 21st century, we take technology for granted? Well, yeah, because now we live in an, in an amazing, amazing world, and it's wasted on the, on the crappiest generation of just spoiled idiots <laughs> that don't care, because this is what people are like now. They got their phone, and they're like, ugh, it won't. Give it a second! <laughs> give, it's going to space. <laughs> Can you give it a second to get back from space? He's so right, right? We live in an age of zero passions and endless expectation. Seriously, no passions. But still, somehow, we still use the email as the major communication. The same email that was invented 50 years ago. Seriously, 50 years ago. The same one that we still need to communicate. We are writing it as letters that were invented so much time ago, like we're writing a letter to a queen. To, from, subject, CC, signature, not to mention the desk analogy of inbox, outbox, folders. It looks like it was invented here in Germany in the right order, right? But still, we do email because we need to, not because we like to. It takes time to read. It takes even longer to write. So it's amazing that we still have the passions to use the email in the current form. And yet, email, don't be surprised, but it's bigger than the Facebook, and it's the major communication tool globally. More than 3.7 billion users worldwide are using email on a daily basis, sending 270 billion emails on a daily basis, lagging behind our messaging with 60, 70 billion of messages every year, and email is still growing with 7% year-over-year growth. Email, as I said, is the most commonly used method for internal communication and external communication. You use email because email is based on open protocol. It belongs to everybody. It's permissionless. We can use it, and we love to use it. And more than that, it's our digital identity. It's something that we have all our relationship all our context, all our e-commerce, everything that we need, we have in our email, and that's why it's very easy for us to communicate and to use it. But in all counts, in the last couple of years, everybody is trying to kill the email. The company that could kill the email, Chatsbot, of course, will be the one who will kill the email, Facebook Messenger will become the leader and will kill email, Slack, obviously, the first slogan was, we want to kill email. Hey, guys, we're not going anywhere, but sure, there are like some other silos, other services. What I mean about silos, and it's very important, there are very good and usable products, but they're coming in addition to the email. They're always in the side of the email. You install them on your mobile phones, on your desktop, and you're using them in parallel to the email. They're like the mission-critical silos, services like to-dos, task managers, project management, everything, really, all of us needs them. And there are, of course, all the social elements like Slack, iMessage, everybody loves them. It's very easy to love messaging, right? It's cool, it's clean, it's easy, and it's human. And as much as it's human and we love it, the only add to our, it's just adding to our multiple confusion. Think about it, how many messaging platforms you are using every day in addition to your email, and you're looking for the right stream of data for the relevant guy where it's landed, on this application, on that application. Listen to that. What if we could reinvent email and combine everything we love with everything we need? I think it's about time. Listen again. Everything we love with everything we need. What if we could make email less writing and more conversational? Your existing email, by the way. We are not asking anyone to change any of his email. It's your existing Gmail, Yahoo, or whatever you're currently using. Less signatures and headers, and more human to human. Less multiple silos, we talked about it. More unified, one unified collaboration and communication place. Less bullshit, and more get shit done. That's the future of what you should aim to use. Please meet Spike. It's the world's first conversational email. As instant as messaging, as human as conversation, as 2018 as email should be. 
We are aiming and we're building the world's largest open messaging platform for all of you guys in order that it will clear all the clutter so you can get to the shortest path to done. And we are aiming and we are investing all our energy in order to simplify and to make your life much easier. Let me show you how. Spike enables real conversation. Everything that you, that you love about messaging, all the headers, signature, threads, no longer. No con just concentrate on the conversation. You can see on the left-hand side how a thread in the old days looked like and how it looks on Spike, like a conversation. It's your existing email. Spike is not about more tool. It's about more productivity in one unified single place. Yes, it's all about productivity. All of us, each one of us, either it's a big organization or small organization or even consumers, we all want to be more efficient and more productive. Spike is available as a multi-platform, Android, iOS, desktop, Mac, Windows, alongside web interface. So you can access and use Spike from everywhere. Look here like a live conversation of a desktop and a user um, on the mobile. They are communicating. It's a live one, by the way, not from now, but we recorded it. But they are communicating and making conversation over their email. If they will go to the Gmail, they will see it as a real email. But here on Spike, it's in real time. They are exchanging location for the meeting. They're exchanging images. Everything that you used to do with your regular emails are exist on Spike, but in a more modern and love and emotional and simplifying way over Spike. Talk to people, not to threads. It's about time just to skip all the list of threads and start to look for the right information. Just click on the right person, and immediately you will get all the information about all the social elements of the relevant guy, plus all the attachments and all the thread and all the conversations that you had with them one-on-one -on -one or with multiple participants. Efficiency, saving time. Groups and channels, exactly like in WhatsApp, which you do on a daily basis. You want to collaborate? Invite people to a group and channel inside Spike. No longer CCs, BCCs without context. Just invite the people into a group, into a channel, inside, inherently inside Spike. You can see it here on the screen. There is add members and delete members, all the attachments, all the assets that were between those people in this chat. It's a very powerful, it's a very powerful solution. Voice and video calls, again, the same as in messaging and in a conversation line in a human way, right? Talk and say it for face-to-face, -face, it's really built in. Here you can see a chat and audio and video conference that I did with my colleague co-founder Erez in Israel, that it's really live. You don't need to go to Zoom, to WebEx, to Hangouts. Do everything from the same unified platform. It, just, it was just a snake of some of the features that we have because of limitation of time, but we really believe that email should be working for you, not the other way around. And it's very important that you will understand we're talking on the same existing email that all of you are using on a daily basis, but it's about time that you will use it in a more easier way, productive way, conversational way, real-time way. So we are working on making Spike do even more, not just the communication over email we will add more and more services of the silos that I showed you in my previous slides. They will be unified inside the same product of Spike over time. Just a, one last slide, which is why Spike is in a unique position. It's mainly for potential investors. We have like our round A currently. And we have tens of thousands of users that we call them labs users. We didn't went public yet. Uh, and we didn't launch the service commercially, but still we have tens of thousands of users with an outstanding stickiness and KPIs and usage of the product. Three hours per day per user, and, and it's really astonishing on how they are using it. In addition, we're establishing partnerships in order to distribute Spike and to make it significant, big one, for millions of people to enjoy the new generation of conversational email. So we have live pilots with leading service providers, companies like GoDaddy, one and one and others that we're attracting them in order to be bundled with their services. And we will introduce also a simple and fair monetization freemium and premium model in the next couple of weeks. Sorry, I'm running out of time. Want to reinvent your email and be the first to try Spike and tell to your kids that, yeah, I was the first one who tried it and I brought more people. Just go to spike.do and get early access. Guys, thank you very much.